Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the movie trivia showdown in what is a surprise but definitely necessary exhibition season that we're having in the showdown. It's the Rocky Championship exhibition match. And who better to join me than calling this match the one, the only, you may know him as the both, the host of the Schmodown Rundown, podcaster, announcer. He works for wrestling. He works for ESPN. Oh, and by the way, ladies and gentlemen, this week, He's an author of Back From the Future. It's the one, the only, I heard he's a dreamboat, Mr. Brad Gilmore. How you doing, buddy? What's going on, George Washington Duke in the building? Uh, what's going on, Mark? I'm excited to be here. I feel like it was apropos for the boat to, to be here for the Rocky Championship. I've, I've been in the ring before. You know what I mean? I've gotten to mix it up with the great Booker T. And I think that this is actually something that Booker and I talk about all the time. We talk about Rocky. And, and what the movies mean to him, what they mean to me, what they mean to everybody. And to see these two go at it, I'm excited. As someone who's been in a few drunken scraps but never uh, dreamt of being in an actual boxing ring, it's weird how much Rocky and the whole franchise, and that includes the Creed movies too, speaks to us just as, as not even as sports fans or competitors, just living your life, how many lessons you can take from all these movies. It really is a transcendent sports franchise. Well, we gotta get old, Apollo. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why, why do we? That's, that's the lesson that I took from Rocky. And I'm, I'm excited because here's the thing. Christian has been in this arena before for the Rocky. He's going to be the defending champion. He went up against Tom Dagnino in a knockout, knockdown drag out fight. Here's the thing. Tom Dagnino doesn't know a lot of things. He knows a lot about Rocky and he did very well. And now to see John Roca, somebody who's kind of a master of all tra uh, crafts. He wants to go at Star Wars. He wants to take a run in inner geekdom. He's a Star Trek guy. He knows everything. I'm interested to see how well versed he is inside the squared circle when it comes to Mr. Balboa. Yeah, you know, you talk about a clash of styles, and we so often do that with a boxing match. Even if you're looking at, at you know, uh, Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, it's like, who has the edge based on what their approach is going to be? Because Christian, former champion of the movie Trivia Schmodown, and he's since become, the, the you know, the, the, the guy who runs the whole league and keeps us all eating and keeping food on our table. But then you right. have Don Roca, who is still a top competitor in the league and puts the study time in. I mean, Christian and I as competitors, we kind of came from a different world where you're just gonna rely with the knowledge they already have in your head, whereas John Roca is constantly trying to tweak his game and learn new methods and re-watching all these movies. So do you see all of that gray matter that Christian has, all that Rocky knowledge that he has stored versus John Roca and his new study techniques? Which way do you see leaning for this match? Well, you know, I think that as with any fighter, you know, time away is your worst enemy. You can develop that ring rust. You, you, you're not going to be as quick. You're not going to be as agile, mobile, hostile, versatile as you possibly could be. So John Roca, guy who's still a champion in this league, he is a, a team champion along with uh, Dangerous Dan Merle. I think I got to give him the edge just based on freshness. Okay, well, I would never doubt Christian in a match. And look, here's here's the best news of all. Tom Bagnino is not within a thousand miles of this matchup, so we can all breathe easy. Everybody is going to enunciate into the microphone, and it should be a fun five-round match here today. So, uh, Mr. Gilmore, I turn it over to you and your vast announcing experience in the realm of wrestling, boxing, and sports. The introductions are all yours, my man. Well, here we go. Introducing first, the challenger. He is one half of the Founding Fathers. He is a former Movie Trivia Schmodown singles champion, and he is the current Movie Trivia Schmodown teams champion. He is none other than John the Outlaw Roca. Oh, look, the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows, uh, but we're going to find out how hard I can get hit and keep going, keep moving forward in this match. I've never been more nervous for a match of my life, so I'm excited to be here. Thank you, Mark Ellis. Thank you, Dreamboat. I'm excited. Let's get this on. Okay, Brad, that can't possibly be true. John Roca, you're really more nervous for this match than you've ever been before. Are you worried about your internet connection? What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> There's no franchise I love more than the Rocky franchise. It has decorated my life. It has gotten me off my butt when I was a fat 14-year-old to work out, lift weights, run. That has always been in my uh, uh, workout mix Rocky music, all of Bill Conti's music, all the great songs that are in the Rocky IV soundtrack, those have decorated my life and still stuff I go back to to work out. So I want to do, uh, at least I want to honor the franchise, even if I might lose today, I want to do the best I can to honor the franchise and my love of it. 
Uh, Brad, you listen to this guy? He's, he's dropping Bill Conti. He's giving away answers already. <laughs> I mean, that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. Now, here's a little fun fact about the Dream Boat. His parents got married to the Rocky theme. So the, oh. the, the Rocky theme, it, 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 it's very special. So shout out to Bill Conti and everybody else. But are we ready to bring in the defending champ here? We are, and I can tell you that when, when you interviewed with Booker T for whatever your first job with him was, I guarantee you dropped that nugget at the end of the interview to seal the deal. <laughs> Just to let you know, Book, by the way, a little, little bit of trivia about the boat here. <laughs> and his opponent, he is the reigning and defending champion of the Rocky franchise. He is none other than the creator, the founder, the commissioner. Y'all make some noise for Christian Dorf. Harlow! <laughs> there it is. Look at that. Look at that old man Rocky body. Look at that old man Rocky body doll. <laughs> uh, Christian, um, I, I have to ask you two quick questions before we get started. First of all, how deep into your closet did you have to dig for that glass hero shirt that you're wearing for the match today? No, you know, it's actually uh, right around. It was it was like staring me in the face. The hero and the villain shirt are, are one of the first because they're black shirts and it goes well with a bald head. <laughs> and I know if Brad and I were both talking uh, pre-show about how w even when you made your championship run, which was phenomenal, beating such huge names and getting that belt once again in the showdown a couple of years ago, you weren't doing a whole lot of prep and study. Did you put in any time in the proverbial gym to get ready for this match today? For this one, just a little touch up on Creed 1 and 2, to be completely honest. And I know Roka well enough. I already know that I've won the match. Because <laughs> when, whenever Roka goes into a match saying, even if I've lost, even if I lose, then he, and he's already psyched himself out. I know him too well. He's already psyched himself out. He knows he can't hang with me. And I respect the fact that he wanted to get in the ring in the first place. But it's over, guys. Wow, go right. the Clubber Lang route. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. All Fight right. one, though. Fight one. <laughs> All right. So Christian and John, you're both ready? Yes. Yeah. All right, Brad, how you feeling? Let's do it, man. There's a lot of trash talk, a lot of, a lot of mental games being played. I'm ready to see who comes out the victor. Then let's get ready to schmo down the rules of round number one. Round number one, gentlemen, features eight questions from eight different corners of Rocky slash Creed franchise movie know-how. Each question's worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number one. As soon as Brad or I ask you the question, use whatever writing instrument you prefer on whatever writing tablet you have handy and write down your answer. And then when we ask you by name to reveal your answer, please show what you wrote to your camera at the same time you verbalize your answer into the microphone. Each competitor has three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match. Named for fame, Will Milwaukee boxer Josh the intern. <laughs> <laughs> engineer. You also each have one challenge be used at any point throughout the match. Uh, Christian and John both ready to go. So, Brad, I will defer to you for the first question at your ready, sir. All right, gentlemen. Round number one. Question one. The category, Rocky IV. Oof. In Rocky IV, how many rounds does Apollo last against Ivan Drago? Oh, that's a good question because we know he not only lost against Ivan Drago, Brad, uh, it was, he, he fell to much worse fate. Uh, he absolutely did. And, and, you know, maybe this exhibition match will be similar to that one. Will one of these competitors face the similar fate of Apollo Creed? All right. We'll Four, find out. three, two, one. Pens down. Christian going to you first. Two. That is correct. And John. Throw the damn towel. Two. All right. We're off and running here, and speaking of two, that is the next category. Creed two oh boy. is the subject. The greatest film ever made. And your question, what is the name of Ivan Drago's son? Uh, Brad, you and I have not had an extended conversation about this movie. W where does it rank for you in the Rocky Pantheon? I mean, slightly above five. You know, I didn't oh. love it as, mu as much as most people did. Wow. I didn't oh, love I it as much know. as most people did. You know what? I I, I hate that we missed out Three. on uh, Rocky and Ivan fighting in the hospital. One. <laughs> we, we, we can still get it. Pens down. John Roca going to you first. What do you got? Victor. It is Victor. Does Christian have it? Victor. Yes, he does. And they have the funny accents to go with it. <laughs> Insulting everybody in the Ukraine and Russia. That's right. All right. Your next question. In the category of Rocky Three, in Rocky Three, which character says, to all my love slaves out there, and that's the name of the game? 
Wow. That might be that that might be my first miss here today, Brad. I'm not I, I saw that question. I was like, I don't recall that. I, Rocky three might be my my biggest besides five might be my biggest hole in the Rocky really? knowledge. I think that uh, that's actually I think the best one. I think Rocky Four, three is the best Rocky. Three, two, one. Great movie. Just haven't gone back and watched as much as I should. Christian. All my slaves out there. Thunderlips. And John Roca. He is the ultimate male. Thunderlips. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mr. Hulk Hogan. That's right. In his breakout role. The ultimate male. No one will ever say that about me. Your next question is in the world of Rocky Balboa. Rocky Balboa. And the question, which actor plays Rocky Balboa's son in Rocky Balboa? And Brad, this by far the most challenging question thus far for our two competitors. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, Rocky Balboa. Rocky Balboa, though, I think slips under the radar a lot. Even when people talk about Rocky, they never really bring it up. Four, three, caught it the other night, and it's, it really holds up. Two, one, pens down, gentlemen. John Roca, going to you first. What was your attempt? Uh, Milo Ventimiglia. That is correct for a Ooh. point. Does Christian have it? I had Milo Ventimiglia. <laughs> All right. Both men still perfect through the first half of questions in round one. We go to question number five. The category is the classic Rocky numero uno, Rocky one. In Rocky, after Rocky feeds Cuff and Link, he brings his pet fish for company. What name does he call the fish? Now we're going to, to pet names, and we're not even going with like the obvious, what is the name of Rocky's dog? We're going to fish names, Brad. It's the name of the fish, man. Uh, oh, wow. This is this is this is what you get in an exhibition match. You get Damn, I don't know that. One. I don't think I know that. One. Three, Damn. two, one. Pens down. Uh, Christian, what was your attempt? Moby Dick. And John Roca. <laughs> I, I put Marciano. I don't know. <laughs> it is Moby Dick. It is oh, Moby Dick. Nice. Christian gets the point. Christian Relation pulls ahead Christian. one point. It's jab the right in the right nose. That's right. And at this point, we I never broke this nose. <laughs> Christian still has a perfect round going. John Roca missed one. So Christian's still eligible for a perfect round. And if he gets that, he will be asked a bonus. But he has three questions before we get to that mountaintop. Your next category is in Creed, Creed 1. Your question, which actress plays Creed's mother in Creed? We're, of course, talking about Adonis Creed's, not Apollo Creed's mom. Yeah, that'd be a tough pull. It'd be a... Be a tough pull. <laughs> Think of how Apollo Creed died in 1986. <laughs> Her name was Phyllis. Her name was Four, Phyllis. three, two, one. Pens down. Roca going to you. Uh, Felicia Rashad. Felicia Rashad is correct. And did Christian have it? Felicia Rashad. One of my all-time favorite moms from the sitcom that shall not be named. Brad, back to you. spelling right there from Christian Harloff. Um, <laughs> you know, question number seven. No, phonetic. <laughs> Category is. Rocky 2. Hmm. In Rocky 2, where does Rocky propose to Adrian? This is this is a spot that uh, Brad, I don't know that I'd recommend if you're not super confident that she's going to say yes. I would not go here. It, it's an odd choice. It's definitely an odd choice. It's not the traditional route that I would go. <laughs> Boy, that's the nicest way to put it. <laughs> One. John Roca, what do you got? Yeah, I think it's at the zoo. It is, is the correct. zoo. Does Christian Harloff have it? Take her to the zoo. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's interesting that they chose the zoo for Rocky Two, given what one of the ne'er do wells in Rocky One said about the people you take to the zoo. But we digress. <laughs> well, there you go. So we move on to your eighth and final question, Christian. If you get this right, you do have a perfect round, and a bonus question will be asked just to you. The query is, in the category of mixed bag. Oof. So name three installments in the Rocky franchise that are directed by Sylvester Stallone. We don't need the full titles of any of them in case there is just the numbers in the franchise. Three installments in the Rocky franchise directed by Sly. They're scribbling right. away viciously here. That's right. Let's see if Christian Harloff can hold on to this perfect round. Five, four, Three, two, one. Hands down. Christian Harloff, do you have a perfect round? Yeah, I do. I'll give you all of them. Two, three, four, and six. Wow. That's wow. Correct. And John Roca. 
Uh, I only did what was required. Two, three, and four. <laughs> Two, three, and four. Yep. They both get the point, but Christian Harloff gets the bonus there. Damn. After a perfect round. Moby Dick. Mark Damn it. That's right. Uh, Christian, you have thrown a perfect game in round number one. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So you do have a bonus question. It's going to be asked by Brad Gilmore. And Brad, what movie are we looking at for the bonus? The bonus is Rocky II. <gasps> I can take two. In Rocky II. What are the last lines that are spoken? I guess it's the last one line, Christian. Um, I love you. Wow, that's a deep pull, and he got it, yep, Brad yep, Gilmore. Right. Yep. Wow. Said, almost said, I did it. Yep, I was that's waiting it. for you. I was waiting, and then it cut. It cuts back to her watching yep. the TV, and she goes, "I love you." <laughs> so, Brad, after round number one, wow. it appears that both competitors have seen these movies a handful of times. I think that they might have seen them once or twice, but uh, pet names did not stick to John Roca. Could no. that be to his peril going into this? But the good thing about it, Mark, is this is a five-round match. He has Kudos plenty of opportunities. Later. Sorry, he has plenty of opportunities. Come either. That's right. Plenty of opportunity to catch up. And maybe the way that he can do that is in the wheel round. That is what we're about to enter. Round number two. The wheel is physically not here in my uh, humble mansion or in electronic form. It's actually right up here in my head. So what's going to happen is each competitor gets a spin at the wheel. The way you spin is you simply give me a number from one to 12. There's 12 slices. I will let each competitor know opponents and spinners choice are on the wheel. And then wow. you have 10 categories of Rocky or Creed movie know-how. So once you settle on a category, you're going to be asked four questions. Each question is worth two points. No penalty for missing a question. However, stealing is available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. So with that, Christian, you enjoy a two point lead over John Roca. Going into round number two, would you like to spin first or defer to your opponent? I'll go first. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what the categories are and then you may spin at your ready. The okay. categories are um, all of the movies, <laughs> which is <laughs> eight <laughs> movies. Good. I like, I prefer that. And then uh, we also have a category that is movie quotes, and then we have a category that is mixed bag, along with opponents and spinners' choice. So, at your ready, what's your number from one to twelve? Six. All right, you have spun Rocky Balboa. Again. Uh, all right. Two. All right, Christian, you have spun Picker's Choice. Spinner's Choice. Oh, oh, Spinner's it. Choice. All right. Give me Rocky Three. Rocky Three. Okay, Christian. Brad Gilmore is going to be asking you the questions for Rocky Three. And yeah. you get four in those special. categories. All right, Christian, are you ready for your first question? Yeah. Here we go. In the category of Rocky Three, your first question. Rocky Three was nominated for an Oscar in what category? Dreaded Oscars. Yeah. Knowing them all too well. Five, four, three. Repeat the question. Rocky Three was nominated for an Oscar in what category? I feel that if I, right, I'm gonna take a shot. I best best original song. That is correct for two wow. points. I of the tiger. The JTE rule. I of the tiger. Yes. Yes. So wait, it, am I hearing this right? Does Survivor own an Oscar? Do they get an Oscar for that? I don't think they won that year. Nominated. Nominated. Oh, it was nominated. Yeah, well, nominated for an Oscar. I got to look that up later and write an angry letter because Survivor should have won. I <laughs> thought for a second it might have been Best Supporting Actor with Mr. T, but then I... <laughs> what? I thought, I thought maybe. Dude, stranger things have happened. I thought maybe. I thought maybe. <laughs> All right. Question number two <laughs> in Rocky <laughs> Three. According to Mickey, Rocky became what? Which is the worst thing that can happen to any fighter? Civilized. That is correct for two points. Christian Harloff continuing his dominance has not missed so far in Rocky. As we go to your third question in Rocky Three, who performs the song "Pushing" on the film's soundtrack? 
the great Frank Stallone. <laughs> that is correct for two more points. Uh, 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 Who could forget pushing? You know, Brad, and somewhere the ghost of Tom Dagnino is laughing. <laughs> somewhere they are. Uh, you have three more questions. You've answered three correctly. Three more uh, questions. Four, one, six. One, six. one more. Say, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, one more question. I'll do six if John won. <laughs> one more question. No mas. No mas. How many times did Rocky successfully defend his title before his first Clubber Lang fight? Damn. Yep. That is correct. Christian you Harloff bastard. continues his perfect dominance mark in the realm of Rocky Balboa. They set ups. Ah, they won set ups. You know, Brad, I, I think you could you, you could translate Mickey's quote a number of ways where the worst thing that can happen to a boxer or a comedian or a Schmodown competitor is they become civilized. I thought Harloff had become civilized, but according to this performance, maybe he's back to the streets. Yeah. Maybe he is. Do 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 do. Do uh, uh, he's do, taking do. it back. Rocky three. Okay. Rocky okay. Three. No, no, sir, I didn't catch you playing with your dolls again. <laughs> All right, John Roca. Yes, um, sir. You have some ground to make up here. It is 17 to seven, so you trail by 10. You can get to within two points of Christian, but you need a good spin of the wheel. What number from one to 12 feels lucky? You know what? I'm gonna take Christian's number six, since All he right. didn't take it last time. You have spun Rocky two. Oh. Remember, John, Creed 2's out there. For Creed. For quotes. No, I'll go again. Oh. All right, you're uh, going to spin again. So what yeah. feels lucky? Eight. All right, John, you have spun Rocky Four, the greatest film ever made. Okay. All right, I got a shot now. It's what I was looking for, Rocky Four, so I got a shot. Do it. And look, Do to happens. everybody watching right now, I know I said Creed 2 is the best movie ever made, but they're both the greatest movie ever made. <laughs> Rocky Four as well. Rocky IV, it, Rocky IV is the best documentary and Creed II is the best movie ever made. There you uh, go. Respect that. All right. So, John, yeah. you can get to within two of Christian here. And your first question in the world so of Rocky IV. All right. What song does the band Survivor perform for the first time seen in Rocky IV? And you're gonna need an answer in five, four, three, two. Burning Heart? Damn. Two points for John Roca. Yeah. Oh, that is correct. Wow, great pull from John Roca, Mark. Nice deep cut there. Two worlds collide here, Brad. <laughs> Rival nations, or at least different apartments. All right, John, your next question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. What does Polly's robot bring to him while Apollo is visiting the house? Oh, crap. Go to five, four. I think I know, but I'll do multiple choice. All right. Is it A, a magazine, B, a beer, C, a cigar, or D, dinner? I think it's a beer. The robot also performed multiple sexual favors, but did bring him a beer. <laughs> if, if I was in a, if I was in the lead, I'd have guessed a beer just to take a chance. Damn it. Oh. All right. So John Roca and Brad, we see with his strategy, he's just trying to stay in the game. He's just trying to hang around at this point. We know just like any fighting champion, fighting contender, you want to see if you can you know, give it to the judges when you're getting you know, early onslaught. We'll see if John Roca can get back in this. We still got three rounds ahead of us. That's right. He's trying to get from Spider Rico to Apollo. See if he can do that. <laughs> John Roca, two questions remain. Your penultimate question in round two. In the film's end speech of Rocky IV, Rocky says that two men killing each other in the ring is better than how many people killing... 20 million. What do you say? 20 million. That is correct for two wow. points. Better than 20 million. That's a... That's a good answer, and he's got a chance for two more points. He can still crawl to within three of Harloff's vaunted 17-point total after two rounds. John, in Rocky IV, at a press conference, Ludmilla accounts for Ivan's strength by saying he eats what every day? Like Popeye, he eats his spinach. Very good. Exactly like the Sailor Man, and that is two more points. <sighs> Should have said John beer Roca. for the two points. Damn it. All right. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So, Brad, after two rounds, it is 17 to 14, Christian. And I think that this is the prize fight that we hoped we would get. 
It's they're definitely going out there. They're standing in the middle of the ring. They're duking it out. They're throwing the they're throwing the bows. But um, we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, John Rocha still has an opportunity here. This is far from over. We got three rounds to go. All right, so the next round, gentlemen, is the betting round. This is where whoever's in the lead, in this case, Christian, is going to spin the wheel. Whatever category that lands on, one question is going to be asked to the field, a lot like round one. Here's how it's different. In round three, once I give you the category, each competitor is going to wager a series of points. You can bet as many as three points. You can bet as little as zero points. If you get the question that is then asked correct, you gain that many points. If you miss that question, you lose that many points off your total. So, Christian, this is where you and I announcing live matches in the past championship rounds have seen fortunes change. I need your number from one to 12. This is going to be the category that determines the question. Three. All right, Christian, you have... <laughs> You have spun opponent's choice. So, oh, oh, wow. So this John, could be the turn here. John, you can set the wheel in whatever wedge that you feel most confident in. Which one would that be? Damn. Uh, let's mess around with Creed 2. Why not? Creed 2 it is. All right. So Creed 2 is what has been selected. Um, and now I need you each to write down on your writing tablet uh, how many points you want to wager from zero all the way up to three. It'd be interesting to see, Mark, you know, what their strategy is here. Christian with a nice lead in front of John Roca. John Roca coming from behind. It'd be interesting to see the strategy of how many points they are going to wager. That's right. Okay, so, Brad, um, here's the question. Gentlemen, you're going to have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer. In Creed 2, which won every Oscar that was available. <laughs> Your query is, what Las Vegas hotel is Creed boxing in when he beats Danny the Stuntman Wheeler for the championship? I love this question, Brad. This is just such a, you need to have seen the movie multiple times to get this one right. This is one of those deep pulls. Both men seem to be somewhat, I don't know, there seem to be I kind of- I see erasing. I see erasing, rewriting. It's gonna be interesting Five, to see what happens. Four, Either one of them can pull three. this out. Two, one, pens down. Christian, you're wearing a shirt that says hero. What's Please your answer? Switch. It was one of two. Okay, okay. I, tell me tell me how many points you bet. Three points. Okay, and John Roca, how many points did you bet? Three. Okay, Christian, what was your attempt at an answer? MGM. And John Roca, what was your attempt at an answer? It's the MGM Grant. We can accept either. It is the oh, MGM Grant. Come Grant. on, come no, on. MGM's in Vegas, you lunatic. You know, it's called the MGM Grant for a reason. Get lost. If I find a bunch of Christians, I don't know which one's the Harloff, do I? It's got to be Christian Harloff. <laughs> all right, gentlemen. It is the MGM Grand Garden Arena where all great events are held. John, I wrote Mandalay and then crossed it out. No, oh, you bastard. Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. <laughs> uh, just so I can throw myself in the ring as well, uh, I was recently performing at Brad Garrett's Comedy Club at the MGM at Grand. The MGM so, Grand, hey, yes. Yeah. That one we are now awesome. going to move on to the speed round. Yeah, how does this work? Here's how the speed round works. In round number four, the competitor is going to be asked five questions from the boat, the author of Back from the Future, Mr. Brad Gilmore Esquire. As soon as the question is asked, it's to the field. So either competitor can buzz in. The way you buzz in is we don't have the buzzers at everybody's house. So you just use your name. You can use your first name or your first initial, whatever you care to use. Once I repeat your name, to you then you have exactly two seconds to answer the question one mississippi two mississippi if you get the question correct within that period of time then you gain a point if you miss the question or you don't get it correct within the two second window you lose a point uh brad like i told christian before the betting round we've seen fortunes change in round at number four lightning speed round we know that those are good qualities to have in a boxer let's see how a schmodown competitor can utilize them can i get He's a can i get a score check yeah, it is 20 to 17. Christian mm. Harloff is the lead. Mm. These definitely are the championship rounds in this heavyweight bout between two titans. Here we go to the speed round. <laughs> Gentlemen, your first question. Which film features the following characters? spider Rico, Tony Jay. Duke. Uh, that was John? Uh, uh, Rocky Balboa. That is correct. Okay, point for John. Your second question. What year saw the release of the first okay. Rocky film. Okay. Christian. Uh, 1976. That is correct. <laughs> Question three. While he is referred to as Rocky throughout the film series, what is Rocky's actual first hey. name? Christian. Robert. Yeah. That is correct. Damn it. 
Question four. Which composer wrote the song Gonna Fly Now? Jay. John. Bill Conti. That is correct. Okay, Brad, it's tied at two. Just in the speed round, one question remains. Here we go. Question five. Who directed Rocky Five? Okay. Christian. John Avildsen. That is correct. Challenge. Allen. I'm a challenge. What? Okay. Why What's would you like challenge? to challenge? It's John G. Avildsen, not John oh. Avildsen. <laughs> okay. After hearing the challenge, Brad, I'm going to have to rule in John's favor. He gets 10 points. <laughs> <laughs> we will accept John Avildsen. He did not need his middle initial. So, Brad, we see a, a well-crafted speed round, really by both competitors. Nobody missed anything. So no points for loss, but Christian Harloff just a little quicker yeah, on the yeah. draw, although I know Christian is going to lose at least 10 minutes of sleep tonight because he did not get Bill Conti before John wrote Absolutely. I, was I'm, I was impressed with the first one because he said Spider Rico, and I said, I want to listen to the rest of this before. before as soon as this. He, yeah, as soon as he said Duke, I was like, oh, yeah, Bucky Balboa. But I'll, I'll get mad about not getting Robert because I studied hard to remember Robert as his actual first name. And damn it, I hesitated uh, in that moment. It cost me. Oh, well. All right. Well, it might have cost you a point, but John, a lot of points can get made up in round number five. This is the round that will determine the match. Round number five, I need a series of numbers from each competitor. I need three numbers in total. Each number corresponds to a different corner of Rocky slash Creed franchise movie trivia showdown know-how. Your first question is worth two points. Your next one's worth three points. Last one, should we make it that far? It's worth five big points, and then a winner will be crowned lest we go to sudden death overtime. Extra rounds in boxing? I don't think that's a thing since the 1910s. So, Christian <laughs> George Harloff, you enjoy a four-point lead over John Roca, thanks to besting him by one point in the speed round that we just witnessed. Your greatness there. What three numbers feel most lucky to you from one to ten? Rocky three, number three. What I think is the best Rocky, Rocky two. Oh, you 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 miss you mispronounced four. <laughs> <laughs> two and eight. All righty, those are the categories. And I will uh, point out to both competitors, um, the it's mostly movies, but they're all me mished up. So it's mm -hmm. not like if you pick three, you're picking Rocky three necessarily. John yes. Roca, your three numbers from one to ten that are not three, two, or eight. I'll take my three favorites, Rocky one, Rocky four, and the seventh in the series. Nice. All right, John, your first question, you selected the category of number one, which corresponds to Creed two. Mm. And your question, which actress returns for Creed two for the role of Ludmilla Drago? Brigitte Nielsen. That's correct for two points. All right, now, John, you're still two points behind Christian, so we're going to have to go to your three-point question. You picked number four, which corresponds to Rocky Three. Mm, okay. And here is your three-point question. Thunderlips says that his match against Rocky is the ultimate male versus the ultimate what? Meatball. <laughs> that is correct. And John Roca is up by one point. Mark Ellis. All right, Andrew Brad. Well, he avoided the TKO, question. and that was step number one to what could be an epic comeback. But standing in his way is I'm not I'm not gonna call him the ultimate male, but he's certainly not the ultimate meatball, and that's Christian Harloff. Although his wife makes damn good meatballs. Uh Christian, <laughs> you selected number three for your two point question. And that corresponds to a film. I think you've seen Rocky II. Oh, damn. And the question for two points and to regain the lead over John Roca. In the hospital, Rocky asks Adrian if he should forfeit the Creed match. Adrian answers that she wants him to do one thing for her. What one thing is that? Win. <laughs> and, and such great acting that we saw, Brad. It was like he turned into Talia Shire. He did. Yeah. Talia. What are we waiting for? I would not give you the points for calling her Talia. Yeah. Hey, Boba Fett, Talia. Talia? Okay. Paul Logia, what can you Take do? this. So I think that that bounces it back to John Roca, if my math is correct. Yeah. Yeah, Chris is currently up 25 to 24. 
and John Roca now faces that part in the match that no competitor wants to, but he's seen this through a number of times. He's at his five point question. It's do or die time. And here is your five point question. You selected number seven, which corresponds to villains and rivals. Oh, wow. And your five point question is in Creed, Ricky Conlon has been undefeated with 28 knockouts. How many fights has he won before fighting Adonis? Wow. Wow. That's a five pointer, Brad. That is a five point question. You can even see the face of Christian Harloff. Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question, please. Yeah, that's your first JT rule. You still have two remaining. Yeah. In Creed, Ricky Conlon has been undefeated with 28 knockouts. How many fights has he won before fighting Adonis? Going to five, four, three, two, one. I'll repeat the question, please. All right, that's your second. In Creed, Ricky Conlon has been undefeated with 28 knockouts. How many fights had he won before fighting Adonis? He's got one more JT rule, Brad, so you're just trying to stretch this thing out as long as possible. You've seen the movie. Get that information from one part of your brain to the other. Let's watch this last night. Four, three, two. Oh, uh, repeat one. the question one more time. Last one. And your final time. In Creed, Ricky Conlon has been undefeated with 28 knockouts. How many fights has he won before fighting Adonis? And it all comes down to this. We're going to count you down, John. Five, four, three, two, 36. One. That is correct. Oh my God. <laughs> John Roca, wow. somehow, wow. some way, I, gets the correct answer. <laughs> and we continue on in the Rocky exhibition match. I was going to oh. say 34. Wow. I would have missed that one. I was Brad thinking about my 35 and one, and I couldn't shake 35 wow. and one. What's the score right now? Brad, I, I don't know that I've ever seen wow. a competitor almost give themselves a heart attack for getting the right <laughs> answer. But that's that was impressive. Get. Witness. So John Roca has taken the lead back. It is now 29 to 25. Jesus John Roca has a four point lead. And so Brad Christian has to answer his five point question, regardless of how he does with the three point question. The three point question is window dressing. It's good for yeah. fantasy if you are in a fantasy schmode on exhibition league. But Christian, yeah. you now have two questions and one of them will determine the outcome of this match. And Brad, I, it, it, d does it look to you like the weight of the world is off John Roca's shoulders and now squarely placed on Christian Harlow? Yeah, the pressure is on the champion. You got to beat the champion. You got to knock him out. So let's see if John Roca can have a comeback victory of a lifetime, much like yeah. Mr. Rocky Balboa. I would have missed that. All right, so Christian. I thought I was um, good. If you get this three-point question correct, it's going to make your score look better, but it's not going to impact whether you win the match or not. You're... Uh, three point question you selected number two and that corresponds to who said it the quotes category and your question for three points which character says you don't own me you don't own me nobody does I want my respect uh, character need a character Tommy Gunn three points for Christian yeah. nice and he's within one, Brad, but no, that no, one is going to no, take me. five. Wow. So, Christian, you selected for your five point question. Opponent's choice? No. Yeah. <laughs> you said number eight. And the number of Steve Young corresponds one of the greatest trailers of all time the trailer for Rocky Balboa. Oh. All right. Okay. The sixth in the franchise. And for your five point question and the win, your question is Before Rocky and Steps decide on the name Punchy, Steps suggests what other name for the dog? Christian's 
action going into his Jedi Zen mode here, Brad. And I'm gonna. I think this this one's definitely you know, giving him five, some trouble. I think. Four, three, repeat. two. All right, that's your second JTE rule, Christian. Uh, in Rocky Balboa, before Rocky and Steps decide on the name Punchy, Steps suggests what other name for the dog. Got one JT rule left if he needs it, Brad. All right, and we continue with the countdown. Five, four, three, two, Pete. one. That's your last JTE rule. So it all comes down to this, Christian. In Rocky Balboa, before Rocky and Steps decide on the name Punchy, Steps suggests what other name for the dog? Brad, 15 seconds. Now down to 12 to 11, and I have a feeling Christian knows this answer. Yeah, I think so too. We're about to find out. We're gonna find out one way or another in five, four, three, two. Lucky. What'd you say? Lucky. And your winner! And new! Oh! 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 <laughs> Exhibition champion is John wow. Roca. Brad, can you possibly put into words what you just witnessed here today? The answer was flea bag, and wow, what what a comeback from John Rocco pulling that five corner that seemed impossible. 36. Who could have ever come up to with that random number? John Rocco somehow did. He used all three JTs to do it, and he knocked out the reigning defending champion. I feel like I'm watching Let's Rocky do. Let's not be knocked out. <laughs> We're talking boxing. So he defeated him, whether it's by the judges' scorecards or in the middle of the squared circle. John Roca now stands tall as your new Rocky Exhibition Champion. Wow, that's uh, an incredible thing that we just witnessed, Brad, but not all that unfamiliar because I feel like we just watched Rocky II play out in front of us. We had the champ. He was coming in. He knew he had good competition. It was a 12-round knockdown drag-out fight, and John Roca, the outlaw, emerges as the victor. So we're going to say goodbye to Christian Harloff just for the moment and get an interview with the winner, John Roca. I mean, wow. you, so, you have run the gamut of human emotion just in the last three minutes. How are you feeling right now? Um, absolutely floored that I won this thing because, I mean, Christian is a such a knowledgeable champion, a Rocky, uh, just a big studier of the Rocky franchise. And so I just... I've always loved Rocky. I've, I always wanted to have my trivia knowledge tested because I've watched these movies religiously for so many years. So to be able to step up and uh, get the job done, pretty shocking to, and it feels like a Rocky story. Like I was behind on the cards the whole time and somehow uh, pulled it out at the end. Lou Filippo said one and I was standing and, and uh, Harloff slumped into the corner. Uh, so I'm just like uh, going crazy right now. I just fell into uh, uh, Mickey's arms uh, right now, exhausted. So I, I, insane, insane. That five pointer, John. Um, obviously, you, you you took all three JTs to get it. How did you come up with thirty six? How did you pull that number? Well, um, when I texted uh, uh, Mark and Christian this morning and asked them if uh, Creed was going to be on the wheel, and they both made fun of me for it. I remember last night I spent two hours like studying all this stuff, and I found on the Rocky Wikia that they have everybody's records, and I thought somehow, some way. This is going to matter. I just have a weird feeling about it. So I studied them last night uh, as I fell asleep with the laptop on my chest on my living room couch. Uh, and for some reason, I couldn't get 35 and one out of my head about about uh, pretty Ricky Conlon. But then now, as Christian was guessing, it doesn't make sense. He'd have fought an extra fight. So it was completely lucky that I just couldn't get 35 and one out of my head uh, because obviously he hadn't lost. So if whatever reason, I just was like 36 fights, F it, I don't know. Uh, and uh, I was lucky, so uh, there it is. Uh, and John, just... that's not the first time during this exhibition season that you've had kind of a, a magic rabbit pull out of your head. I mean, I've seen you have a number of these Stacy Howard, Josh Bakuga moments where you're <laughs> up against the ropes and you manage to hit the clutch shot at the time you need it the most. What do you attribute this newfound Robert Ori-like ability? Well, there's a bit of peace in the fact that I've been studying and kind of staying in, staying sharp, you know what I'm saying, with all the stuff with the Schmodown, and because I don't know when it's going to come back. And I know the second that, uh, you know, California says, okay, everybody can go back to work, Christian's going to make, all right, let's schedule the match right now. I, I know that it's going to happen within seconds. So I have to stay sharp. And I, to be honest with you, doing that, 
champion versus champion versus champion versus champion match. I had barely any time to study. I knew this one I really wanted to study for. So I spent the last three days rewatching all the movies, watching the YouTube clips, uh, creating study sheets on Word for every movie and just writing down facts as they came along and just staying them keeping them in my head just in case. I mean, there's a multitude of facts somewhere. There's a multitude of facts that I uh, that I didn't even get a chance to use in this match. So I just, I studied really hard because I know Christian was going to come and try to smoke me. So I did well, what you, I could. You, you say the and, entire uh, fight is in preparation. You know, you fight your hardest fight before you get into the ring and John Roca is definitely proof of that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of those things, Brad, where we talked at the top of the show about the clash of styles. So we're going to bring in the unfortunate loser of today's match still a champion when it comes to rocky knowledge but christian you no longer have that roxy that rocky exhibition belt i i feel like you know passing it to john roca it's still going to a worthy champion he beat me one, one second one <laughs> <laughs> um, i missed one question he said you learned to live with it i missed one question uh and a stupid flea bag and i knew it after you said it and i was like oh yeah. right. Did you, uh, can I ask you, Christian, how many dog names and can you illuminate with us with some of the dog names that were running through your head during that that question answer period? I punchy was the first thing I thought of. I was like, oh, but that was the dog's name. Uh, so that doesn't, I would I would have almost done a don't tell Peter there. So I almost did that. Um, <laughs> I knew that um, th that uh, butt kiss was his old dog mm. and lucky as what I thought. And then, yeah. Because Fleabag, is, it's mentioned so it's it's so brief when the kid says it that I was like ah when you said it. But Rocky Balboa is not the one that I'm that strong in. So that was that was one of my uh, that was my weakness. You got it. The, I mean the, the that pull. I mean he earned it with that pull for sure. But look, the good news is that I'm the uh, commissioner, so I already can tell you his next challenge will be a triple threat with me <laughs> and Magnino. <laughs> that's, that's what I was gonna ask. And having somebody. You know, like me, I, I missed one question in my <laughs> exhibition match. It could have cost me everything. Um, I mean, how, how much are you kind of beating yourself up right now? Do you, do you feel down? Because you felt so confident here. You were in the lead the entire time. You're obviously the odds-on favorite to win. John Roca had to come from behind to beat you. Right. Uh, it took. It had, had this been a three-round match, we probably wouldn't have seen this. But the five-round mm -hmm. structure definitely helped. Right. What was the final score? It was uh, 29 to 28. 29 28 right so it really came down honestly it, it came down to and now mark you had asked me earlier how bad was i kicking myself with the bill conti thing now the bill conti thing would have i would have won the match so, <laughs> so had i gotten bill conti i would have won uh so that's the only way the speed round had just been a little faster but john played good it's the reason why he's a champion you know he, he you could tell while he was playing that he used that experience. He took the shot in the speed round to say like, you know, I know the way that the writer's right here, so they're not gonna ask me to make it that obvious with spider Rico mm -hmm. up top, and he did that. And he he, he stayed cool, calm, and collected. And he, he played, it's a reason why he's got a belt behind him. So it's just, he misses, he misses doubt fired me again. <laughs> Brad, two worthy champions for sure. And look, I, I think a lot of fans out here are probably gonna be looking forward to that three-way possible exhibition that's going to be a rematch of all these that would throw Dagnino into the pool. Now, as much as we would love for him to get a louder microphone, I think he knows a lot of correct Rocky answers. So mm. do, do you have any early tea leaves telling you, Brad, which way that rematch slash triple threat could go? Well, the thing about it is I think that the two guys that we're looking at right now if they go or were to meet again, they're going to do all types of preparation. I'm talking about they're going to go to the mountains of Russia in the cold during Christmas time, grow the beards, have the sweats on, throw in logs around, and they're going to get prepared to come back and dance with one another again. So it would be up in the air, you know, as the defending champion, someone's always going to be uh, trying to knock you off of your throne. And I think Christian Harloff would come back with some fire in the belly. That's right. Well, his heart was on fire and John Roca had just a little bit of a stronger desire here today. And I want to thank both competitors for showing up and competing and just really giving us a show here in this exhibition season. And I want to thank Brad Gilmore for also joining me here in the announcer booth. Brad, uh, well, just let us know again, where can all the folks check out your new book, Back From the Future, your very first book? And, and again, all the congrats in the world, man. You're a hard worker and you deserve every ounce of success. I appreciate that, Mark. I appreciate it. You can find it on Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, IndieBound, Apple Books, um, wherever wherever really books are sold. There's an audio book available, too, on Audible, wherever you can get your books. Uh, you can find Back from the Future. We're proud to say that it is a bestseller on Amazon right now. So go check that out and follow me on Twitter at Brad Gilmore for updates about book signings and all kinds of great stuff. 
hey, you picked a good film franchise to write about, and I think that we picked a pretty good film franchise to have an exhibition match, and this may not be the last time you hear a lot of Rocky movie trivia questions coming your way. For Brad Gilmore, Robert Tepper, Frank Stallone, Christian Harloff, and John Rocha. I am merely Mark Baby Carrots Ellis. Thank you all for tuning in today. Stay safe, stay distant. It's not the easiest time right now, but we're here with you. And this is our little virtual community. So thank you so much to all of our patrons for being a part of it. We'll see you next time on the movie trivia showdown. <laughs>